Continuing my husk cosplay, I have the insides of my ears made that will be going on the headband, but I need to fur these guys up. So I have white faux fur and a dark gray faux fur that I'm going to put on the front and back of this. Let's sandwich it. Let's go. Make sure whenever you're working with faux fur that you have PPE on because this stuff goes everywhere. LB means left back, RB means right back. So the white is going to be the front part of the ear. I have marked the direction that the hair is going. I want it to be going down the ears. So I'm going to trace this, make sure I allow a half an, half an inch of seam allowance on both sides and then cut them out using the box cutter. Okay, the white side for the front is done. Now I gotta do the dark gray for the back. Now that we got the fur cut for the front and the back, we are going to need to hot glue this into the center of the fabric and then hot glue the white over that. Alrighty, we got the sandwich made. I'm not really sure what the next part is. I'm going to do some tutorial watching and practice shaving on the scraps. Alright, it's finally that time. I have never used one of these before in my life. I'm going to read the instructions and obviously put oil on and a guard and do some practice shaving and go from there. <laughs> Okay, the last one is shaved through the middle and all over the tip, and this one is not. Already looks much better. We'll see if I can um, clean it up with paint. Okay, not bad. Now I just need to airbrush all the texture and stuff to create shadows and then fold these and attach them to the headband and see if they look acceptable. I wish. These fuzzies weren't cut on this side, but we'll see what it looks like on a headband once it's all painted. I have watered down acrylic to match the gray fur. I'm going to be doing some tests with an airbrush on the scraps. Airbrushing on fur is nearly impossible. I don't know how these professional ear makers do it, but you know what? We're doing it. It looks like an ear. It's, it's better than nothing. <laughs> Okay, yeah, not bad for my first ever try. I think that's pretty decent. What I have learned is when you are airbrushing on fur, you have to have the PSI super, super low, like 15 to 20. Otherwise, it'll just blow the hair everywhere, and you won't get a line that looks anything like a line. But I'm really proud of this. I cut out a little stencil for a heart and like a curve for the curve of the ear, and then just cleaned it up afterwards. I'm really pleased. Well, I did it. They're way too big. But you know what? I made ears successfully, and I know what to do for the second iteration. But, like, come on. Come on. I'm proud, but I'm also disappointed. And you know what? That's okay.